We start in Krakow. It's like the Boston of Poland, a charming and vital city, buzzing with history, college students, and tourists. Even though Poland's political capital moved from here to Warsaw 400 years ago, Krakow remains the country's cultural and intellectual center. The city's history is rich, its sites are fascinating, and the prices are some of Europe's lowest. This is a country where the most expensive cafe on the most expensive perch serves drinks for a fraction of what you'd expect. The charm of today's Krakow lies in its medieval roots. Krakow grew wealthy from trade in the 12th century. Traders passing through were required to stop for a few days and sell their goods at a discount. Local merchants then resold their wares at a profit, and the city thrived. In the 13th century, the Tartars, a.k.a. the Mongols, swept in from Asia and destroyed Krakow. Brazilian Krakowians took this opportunity to rebuild their city with a near-perfect grid plan, a striking contrast to the narrow, maze-like lanes of most medieval towns. Eventually, Krakow's power waned. Warsaw emerged as the dominant city in Poland, and Krakow became a provincial backwater of the Habsburg Empire ruled from Vienna. While Warsaw was in the sphere of Moscow and therefore more eastern and conservative, Krakow has long been more western and liberal. 